Randa, thank you once again for your reporting. So, and I want to make sure I get this right. Facebook, if someone complained about the Biden administration, forwarded that to the FBI. Exactly. It's quite chilling. And we know this because there are some brave individuals who work within the DOJ and the FBI and their consciences were troubling them. They felt that this was uh, completely wrong and illegal. And uh, basically, if somebody expressed a private opinion in a private message, an American citizen on Facebook, then somehow their algorithms found that, um, you, you know, they, they were indulging in wrong think. They were questioning the 2020 election. Um, they were expressing anti-government or anti-authority views. That was red flagged by Facebook and then sent unprompted to the FBI, which then farmed out these so-called leads to various FBI field officers around the country, which then would raise a subpoena to get that um, material officially. But they'd already seen it, so they knew what to look for. And uh, I think that within the uh, FBI and the DOJ, there is a groundswell of disquiet that's been going on for several months because of this, um, this sort of attempt by the FBI to create a caseload to match this extreme rhetoric from the Biden administration talking about domestic uh, terrorists and enemies of the state and uh, basically their political opponents uh, as semi-fascists. And uh, because those people don't really exist in America, the FBI is having to drum them up. Uh, and and uh, there are a, a considerable number of um, people within the FBI and the DOJ who are unhappy about that. They're starting to come forward and speak out. And I think there will be a real groundswell in the coming weeks. Well, they're doing their best to create those kinds of people. If you want to make people radical and dangerous, this is exactly how you treat them. So Mark Zuckerberg, the founder and part owner of Facebook paid. We're in East Germany territory. This is the Stasi uh, spying on citizens and, um, you know, inciting other citizens to spy on their neighbours. It's very frightening and very divisive. And it's sort of ironic that Joe Biden continually talks about uh, the, the other side of politics, his opponents creating hate and division. That's all he's done since he yes. became president. He's making people dangerously radical. I'm, I'm scared by it. I, pre I really appreciate your reporting, yeah. as always. Miranda Devine of The New York Post. Thank you. Thanks, Tucker.